What Everyone Should Know About the Lab Profile Hi, I'm Roger Bailey. This video describes my experience of developing NLP's metaprograms into my lab profile, and it gives you a chance to contact me directly with any comments and questions about the lab profile. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, USA in 1944 at the height of World War II. My dad was in the Navy and he worked as a technician in the development of early versions of radar. After the war, he returned to his family's business, which was building wooden buildings and other structures needed around coal mines. He also worked on the side building starter homes. And during that time, he also attended university in Birmingham studying physics. When I was in the fifth grade, we moved to Atlanta for my dad to go to Georgia Tech for his master's in physics. Built into my family culture is the drive to learn stuff and build things. When I graduated from high school in 62, I joined the U.S. Navy and went through their one-year electronic technician school. After that, I spent three years maintaining radio equipment on board U.S. Navy ships. After completing my Navy enlistment in 66, I got a job with IBM repairing tabulating card machines. I left IBM in 1980 as a senior programmer analyst on staff to the director of IBM's most popular mainframe operating system, which was called Virtual Machines. And over the years at IBM, I earned a BS in social science, focusing on anthropology, from Fordham in 72, and an MS in social science, counseling, from the University of Bridgeport in 77. During my time, my university studies, I was introduced to New Orleanistic Programming, NLP, I was excited about these concepts, and I started attending NLP trainings anywhere I could with John and Richard and Leslie and Judith. I completed their practitioner and master practitioner training programs and continued taking courses whenever I could. At one of their courses in Santa Cruz, Leslie and Judith introduced metaprograms, which they described as the programs which run the programs in our heads. I was fascinated with the patterns they were teaching, but I quickly realized that these metaprograms were not programs running anything. These patterns were the platforms, our brain's functional architecture, on which our mental and physical programs operate. Because of my computer hardware and software background, I started recognizing that these patterns were incredibly valuable concepts. I knew that business people would want to know how to harness these concepts for a variety of business applications. Of course, the most obvious application would be for attracting and motivating and hiring exactly the right employee for critical tasks. So I started creating an interview which would get people to reveal their metaprogram patterns. I also decided to call my approach to metaprograms the language and behavior profile or the lab profile, which I thought would be more attractive to business people than metaprograms. In 1980, I left IBM to work full-time on finding more sets of patterns and teaching and consulting with businesses about the use and the benefit they would receive from the lab profile. Before I left IBM, I started teaching my lab profile interview approach at NLP conferences around the USA and Europe. And of course, many of the people who learned these lab patterns at these events started using it and teaching it to their clients. I was delighted with that because I knew how useful the lab profile was for all kinds of people to learn and use. When I left IBM in 1980, I was teaching eight sets of patterns. I'll call those categories in the lab profile. Now, because of my continued development, I teach 17 categories and a total of 54 patterns in the lab profile. But I find that many of the people teaching and using lab profile are working with various of my earlier versions. And some are using some very early versions of the lab profile because they've not yet had a chance to learn my most recent versions. For many people, first learning the lab profile, there's a belief that these lab profiles are somehow fixed in stone for a person. But experience shows us that everything changes by context. The reality is that the lab profile is taught as a business tool, and the context of the questions is work. And also the reality is that every question I teach is for business clients to discover lab patterns, and this is work context dependent. But just imagine what you would learn if you could identify how a person operates in other contexts. Okay, now here are logos of a few of the business clients I've worked with over the decades. Currently, I'm interested in helping all of you around the world who are teaching and or using the lab profile to catch up with all of my developments. If you're using the lab profile and would like to get in on a free Zoom Q&A call with me, look in the description of this video to find out how to contact me so I can answer any question you might have about the lab profile.